Hello, I am Dr. Sunil Kini, Consultant, Joint Replacement and Arthroscopy Surgeon at Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. There are certain medications uh, which have to be restarted or uh, continued after surgery. First of all, the routine medications that the patient is on. Say, if the patient is diabetic, then anti-diabetics. If the patient is hypertensive, then anti-hypertensives. And all the medications, like heart medications, which the patient was previously taking, has to be restarted. It's also important to note that uh, we prescribe blood thinners after a knee or a hip replacement. So these blood thinners have to be taken for a variable duration. It's very important to take these blood thinners to prevent clots in the legs, which we call as deep vein thrombosis. These clots are, can be dangerous and can go to the lungs and cause what is called as a pulmonary embolism. So it's important that you take these anticoagulants which your surgeon prescribes for a variable amount of time. Say for a knee replacement, it would be about two weeks for a single knee replacement. For a bilateral or both knee replacements, it would be about three weeks. Uh, for a hip replacement, it would be around four weeks. Other drugs that the patient has to be started or continued is the calcium uh, supplement. So it's important for the patient to have a good bone stock, a uh, good uh, adequate strength in the bones. So we prescribe the patient on uh, regular calcium with the vitamin D3 combination, which the patient has to continue for uh, indefinitely. It's also important or the patient can continue uh, multivitamins uh, as well. It's also important to note that uh, if the patient has any osteoporosis or not. We scan the patient if deemed necessary with what we call as a bone mineral density or a BMD scan. So this would indicate whether the patient actually is osteoporotic which indicates that uh, there is very less calcium in the bone. If so, then the patient has to be started on special uh, medications for say about one or two years and then recheck the BMDs. So this would be in addition to the routine calcium the patient is already taking.